Hey guys, John here from Titan. And today I wanna to share some more tips with you. Um, every time I do a segment like this, I wanna share some of the good health tips that are gonna help you guys get the results you guys are looking for. Whether it's weight loss, putting on the mass, or just feeling overall healthier, right? Because that's what we want. We want our quality of life to improve. And all these things uh, go together to improve quality of life. So let's talk about fad diets and rebounding. So I'm sure you guys have heard of all these different diets through the years. I mean, I'm 39 years old. I've heard of quite a few diets out there. And you know, some stick around and some just get you know tossed to the curb or get recycled years later by somebody and try to give it a new name to make it sound like it's this new diet that's hit the streets. So let's talk about just some of these fad diets, right? And you might be on some of these and they might work for some people, but in the masses, they usually don't. Paleo diet, the South Beach diet, Atkins diet, and detox diet, you know. So there's a lot of different diets out there. So what do these diets entail? These diets entail you taking some sort of supplement or following some sort of eating regimen that are supposed to be getting you great weight loss results. Um, now, if these things really worked for the masses out there, I think that more medical physicians would be pushing people into these diets because let's just state the facts. I think we're with 45% obesity in the United States or overweight. That causes a lot of problems for you guys if you guys are in this category. And that's almost one out of two people. So if you put two people in a room, one is probably gonna be in that category. And being obese or overweight, a lot of people don't wanna be obese or overweight. They want to be slim, they wanna be trim, they wanna be lean, they wanna be healthy. And usually when you're overweight, that's when more health problems start arising, like diabetes type two, cardiovascular problems, and a lot, lot more that will affect your health down the line, like blood pressure, which is a silent killer, right? It'll start attacking the kidneys and such. So these diets you want to make sure are going to work for you in long term so you want to make sure that these are going to give you long-term results and something that you can stick with something that is real okay so let's talk about some of these different fad diets so these fad diets want you to either eat just fats they want you to eat just proteins they're not giving you the overall spectrum of what your body really needs nutrition wise and that's really the problem with them now let's talk about weight loss because most people go on diets and they're really nutrition plans, this will, let's call them that, because I think that's a better name instead of a diet. People get scared, like, diet, diet, I don't wanna diet. But a nutrition plan sounds better, okay? And it sounds healthy. So let's talk about nutrition plans and losing weight correctly. So when you're gonna lose weight correctly, you're gonna have to put your body in a calorie deficit. That means that you are burning or taking out more calories in your body or not putting them in your body um, that you need to sustain the weight that you're currently at. Okay, so we know that if you're eating 4,000 calories a day, you're probably gonna wanna trim that down. Now, usually the calorie intake, and it's, it could be different for other people, is usually between 2,000 calories and 2,500 calories per day. So at that point, we wanna start you know, cutting back on these calories. And remember, there's good calories and bad calories. So when people say, oh, well, I can eat 2,000 calories, that means I can eat you know, a hamburger uh, from McDonald's, some French fries, and maybe a Coke, um, and, and be good, right? Because I'm underneath my calorie count per day. And that's healthy, that should make me lose weight. Where in instances, these are bad calories, right? Your food sources should be good. And by what I mean by good food sources, non-processed or less processed foods, um, not being fast foods. You know, I'm talking about meals that you could cook at home or you get, uh, you know, from a restaurant, home cooked like. So you can even go into restaurants and, and say, listen, I want a plain chicken breast, you know, with light seasoning on it and still be healthy. These are good calories. So you want to really make sure that you're focused on eating good calories in this calorie deficit, which will in turn will help you start losing weight and start giving the proper nutrition that you need. So instead of eating a triple cheeseburger and large fry from McDonald's, you're eating a chicken breast and maybe some salad or some vegetables with a simple carb. Um, it might be some white rice, brown rice, or a potato. Uh, there's some different things out there where you guys can get these different 
macros. And when we talk about macros, what are macros? Because I get that question all the time. And I think it's something that people need to understand and not just use these big words. When we talk about macros, we talk about fats, we talk about proteins, and we talk about carbohydrates. So these three things will help your body in a number of different ways. And for your nutrition plan, you should make sure that you're getting a good variety of these different things. Um, and like I said, making sure these are not processed things because there are carbohydrates out there that are bad for you. Um, you know, protein sources might not be the best for you because they might not be lean protein sources. Just because it's steak doesn't mean it's a lean steak or even some of the chicken out there, you know, with, with some of the different things that they're processed with, this is not good or added sauces on top because you want a little flavor. And that is the game changer. You want to make sure that your meals are simple, as simple as possible, I always say. Um, at that point, you know what you're actually intaking the body. You can keep track of it. Now, when you become seasoned and in getting good nutrition, you can usually eyeball things or know what's good for you, what's bad, and really get your count of your macros. How much carbohydrates are you taking in a day? How much protein are you taking in a day, right? Um, how much fat are you taking in a day? So there's good fats and there's bad fats too. So when we talk about fat, they're not all bad. There are good fats out there. So when we talk about this, you wanna get a good variety. So meal planning is probably the best way that you're going to get the results you're looking for if you're not seasoned and don't know what you're doing. So if you're new at this and you say, John, this is just so confusing for me. I really don't know. Well, tightmedicalfitness.com will be able to assess um, your body weight, uh, where you're at, and create meal plans for you with the foods that you like. And that's really what it is. People, you know, they, they hate going on nutrition plans because it's a lot of food they don't like or haven't ate before or just doesn't taste good and they just don't like it, right? They can't do that nutrition plan. But we create custom nutrition plans for you that will actually give you the, the meal plans of what you should be eating per day, right? Broken down with your macros, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. That's what macros are. So at least if you take one thing away from this, you know what a macro is. So at that point, now you need to assess how much your body needs to take in. And you can assess this with your food portions and making sure your food portions are correct. So you don't wanna overeat, right? That's a big thing. People put these big portions on their plate and at that point they start eating them down. The first thing you wanna do is, is Put the portions that you need so you can weigh out your food if you need to. If you don't understand how much this weighs, you can get a little scale that's going to tell you. And at that point, you can assess. You can look online. How much does an 8-ounce chicken breast have of protein, fats, and carbohydrates? You can look at your baked potato and the weight size. You can look at one cup of rice, two cups of rice, and you'll know exactly where you stand. And it makes it real simple and real easy when you start understanding this. And you can put together a plan for yourself. Then you can meal prep, which is gonna take a lot of the time away from you, know, you doing other things. So when you meal prep, and this is what I mean by that. So people think, I can't go home and cook every night. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't have no time. So at this point, when you take you know, an hour out of your weekend, whether it's a Sunday, a Saturday, a Friday, you can even do this on the weekdays if you work weekends. And you take that one hour and you start planning what you're gonna eat for at least three to four days or that week. You can actually prep those meals. You can get a whole bunch of chicken breasts and cook those chicken breasts. You can get some steaks, cook those steaks, baked potatoes, vegetables. And you can even buy real cheap Tupperware where you can load that in there and put them right in your fridge. And at that point, you can literally pull them out of the fridge or pull them out of your cooler if you're at work and heat them up. And that way you have a nutritious meal where you know exactly where your macros are gonna be at and what you're intaking is a good food source. And you're not worried about anything else after that. So that's really where the weight loss comes into play is in a calorie deficit. And that's really decreasing your calories with your meals per day. Now, with that, you want a good food source, a nutritional-based food source, good food that you're putting in your body. And like I always go back to, a sports car, you have this beautiful Lamborghini, you're not gonna put 89 regular uh, unleaded fuel in there. You're gonna put that good 93 octane gas in there so it runs good, it runs properly. You always wanna give it the best. Now, some people say eating organic is more expensive than ever. But let's think about this. If you eat garbage food like McDonald's every day, you are going to be in trouble sooner or later. 
And that's going to cost you a lot more than what some of that food is costing you now. And I'm not talking about pennies. I'm talking about thousands of dollars. Let's talk about hospitals. Let's talk about going to the doctor, right? To check up on things. And you're going to have to pay the doctor. You're going to have to take time off work. These are problems that you're going to have to deal with later on. It might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen the next day. But I guarantee if you're consistent and going on that bad course, bad things are going to happen to your health sooner or later and you never know it's always a roll of dice if we knew when we were going to get sick or when we were going to die or when something bad was going to happen we would probably do our best not to make it happen or realize hey listen i'm not going to do that but since we don't have a crystal ball and we don't know the future because if i knew the future i'd be on my own island right now okay but we don't know our own future so at that point you want to prepare for the future and prepare for the best so these are just some things to take in consideration when you're talking about your health and you're talking about weight loss and creating a successful nutritional plan for yourself. And like I said, if you don't know how to do this, you can always contact Titan Medical Center or you can go to tightmedicalfitness.com and sign up and get a meal plan and a workout plan that's going to be best suited for you. So these are just some of the things that I like to help you guys out with for health and tips. I've got a lot more, so I hope you guys are liking this. Stay tuned, and remember, call or text 727-389-3220 and check out our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.